Born in Bemidji, Minnesota in September of 1958, Paul Dye began flying as a teenager and earned his private pilot's license at Anoka County Airport in 1975. After high school, he went on to earn a commercial pilot's license and a degree in aeronautical engineering from the University of Minnesota, specializing in aircraft design and flight testing. Dye moved to Houston to join the NASA Manned Spaceflight Program in 1982, where he began working on shuttle orbiter systems. In 1990, he became the head of mechanical and crew systems for mission operations responsible for flight crew training on those systems. He became familiar with Russian systems, working with integration of U.S. and Russian Mir space station systems. In 1993, Dai was selected as one of the space shuttle flight directors. He served as the flight director for STS-63, the first shuttle to rendezvous with Mir in 1995, as well as STS-71, the first shuttle to dock with Mir that same year. He continued to work as a NASA flight director for 39 shuttle missions. The majority of them were to supply the International Space Station, including nine flights as center seat flight director, the central coordinator of all spacecraft activities on those launches. He was the lead director of the final shuttle mission, STS-135. Dai retired from NASA in 2013 after a 33-year career as the longest-serving flight director in NASA's history. During his employment, he was awarded the Johnson Space Center's Director's Commendation, the NASA Outstanding Leadership Medal, and four NASA Exceptional Service Medals. Between 2005 and 2019, Dai became deeply involved with the home-building movement and built an RV-3, an RV-6, a Dream Tundra, and a Subsonics. He owned several other aircraft and is proud of his accomplishment of flying over 130 different aircraft types. With his engineering background and flight experience, he has been called upon to test fly many home-built aircraft. Dai contributed numerous articles to Type Club newsletters and served as editor-in-chief of Kit Planes magazine for six years. He also wrote a book, My Life in the Center Seat of Mission Control. He continues as a feature writer and speaker for various civic groups.